I've now had this JVC Averio camera for a couple of weeks and it seems to do a pretty nice job. Um, they've done quite a bit of filming recently. Um, took it down to Fort Benning, Georgia to film my son's um, graduation from basic training. And it took some really nice footage, but the one problem that I have with it is the battery life is terrible. Now that was the one complaint that I saw on the web for this camera. But I bought it literally the day before we left for Georgia, so I really couldn't do anything about it. And a new larger capacity battery was going to be like 70, 80 bucks, half as much as what the camera cost. Well, I'm trying to put another son through college. I just don't have that kind of money. So I tried to get by. Unfortunately, at 50 minutes during the graduation, the camera just plain died. That was it. That was the end of the battery life. And even though I did get good footage, it didn't close out that particular video clip. So I'm having a hard time uploading onto YouTube or anything else. So if anybody knows how I can do that, to let me know. But regardless, um, I'm not going to let that happen again. So what I decided to do was to use a, um, I have a bunch of gelled cell lead acid batteries that I decided to build a uh, voltage regulator for and I'll use that to, po <clears throat> to power the charging port and that should at least double my battery life. Now here's the uh, circuit that basically I decided to use. You see I got a 12 volt 1.2 amp hour gel cell lead acid battery um, fully charged it's about 13.2 volts um, I decided to rather than to drop the full 12 volts down to 5 volts I decided to put a pre-regulator in there using a LM7808 main reason being number one is probably going to be a little bit easier on components and number two um, I got a whole bag full of these from Electronics Gold Mine when I bought one of their voltage regulator grab bags. I've got must have been about ten of them in there, and then only about three or four other ones that were useful. And I've been trying to find a use for them, and this just turned out to be a good use. So I'm using that as a pre-regulator. So basically, I got to 12 volts, drop it down to 8 volts, and then at 8 volts. Is dropped down to 5 volts. Now the input for the camcorder charge port is 5.1 volts but I'm not trying to charge this battery I'm basically just trying to give it a boost so it'll work just fine. Um, as you can see um, I'm using a 0.33 microfarad capacitor on the input on both of these. Now the ones that I had in my junk box you gotta remember I'm building this out of parts out of my junk box this is something that cost me basically nothing I had all these parts already available and I'm using a polypropylene capacitor which seemed to work just fine and actually I probably didn't considering the fact I'm running this off of a pure 12 volt DC battery I probably didn't need those input capacitors anyways but just a keep any possibility of oscillation from happening I decided to include them and then on the output I used um, 50 microfarad um, 20 volt electrolytics that I had also in my parts box basically same deal um, I had them so that's what I'm using um, I breadboarded this circuit previous to building it and put a three quarter amp load on it for three hours and nothing seemed to get very hot um, it held steady at exactly five volts the whole way so it'll work just fine so that's the circuit there's a the battery I'm using just a plain old gel cell battery 12 volt 1.2 amp hour nothing super special about that And here's a circuit that I built. Basically just a simple little thing on a perf board. Threw this together in probably less than an hour. Let's see what we got.
Okay, and basically I'm going to have to do, I don't know what I'm going to do for a case on this. I really don't have a case in my junk box that will fit this in it. So, other than something really huge, I want to keep this as compact as possible because I'm going to um, basically keep this in a bag that's hanging on my shoulder to keep it as easy to maneuver as possible. But right now it's connected. If you look at it, that's there's the input right there, plus and minus, and I've got the, the negative side tied together, and then there's the output right there. I should have five volts coming out of that. As you can see, I've got exactly 5 volts. Kind of switch it back and forth between 5 and 4.99, but you get the picture. So I'm hoping this will extend the battery life to where um, I can use it in a longer event. That. Uh, graduation lasted for about an hour and I got 50 minutes of footage so I was about 10 minutes short this would have definitely um, given me that extra 10 minutes now if you're gonna build this yourself I would not recommend plugging this thing in and leaving it plugged in because there's really no current limiting to this at all short of what the S7805 has internally so it'll probably smoke your battery if you're just leaving that thing plugged in forever. I would basically, what I would do and what I plan on doing is when I start the camcorder, I'll plug this thing in. And as the camcorder battery runs down, this should provide a boost to it. Actually, the camcorder battery probably won't run down as long as this is plugged into it. It'll probably provide all the power I'm going to need. But we'll see how this works out. Um, I'll have to figure out a case for this and then a long cord so I plug I can plug it into my charge port and I'll let you know how it works. All right.